It's been around about two weeks since I last did a crate opening in Rocket League. So what better way to celebrate 927,000 subscribers with a 200 Golden Pumpkin 22 opening? I'm pretty sure this is the biggest on YouTube. This is the biggest that I have done. And obviously very soon, we'll be hopefully looking forward to a brand new Golden Gift 2022. So this might be my last chance to get some of the new sick items. We've obviously got our Riga Black Markets that we can get painted that I'm yet to see. We'll have trade-ups and all that good stuff as well. So if you enjoy these videos, please do smash a like, subscribe down below to join the pixel army and why not leave a comment down below because as i say i read all your comments and by the way most of you watching this video aren't subscribed like statistically you might be watching this you're a pixel diehard fan you're thinking i've been subscribed since 100,000 subs and i love you for that but most of you watching so it is likely to be you as well are a part of toilet gang <laughs> no i'm playing but are not subscribed and quite possibly on the toilet right now as you watch this it's creepy isn't it when i call you out like that but you know it, it is what it is i caught you in 4k <laughs> That's so jokes. One of my favorite jokes on the channel. So with 200 golden pumpkins, that means we're going to get what? Oh, I'm, I'm going to say it's a lucky day today. I'm going to say three black markets. That's a bit of a claim. I rarely even predict that I get one black market per 100 crates. When I have 200 crates, I'm thinking, you know, I'll usually set the bar low and say we'll get one black market and two painted exotics. But I'm going for four painted exotics and three black markets from these 200 crates alone because the trade-ups, we're still, we still are yet to be able to trade up the Alriga items from this crate, which means that the more crates you open, you still get less trade-ups to do because a third of the items already can't be traded up. So it's like you're opening less, which is a little bit of an L. So that means it's paramount that you get good crate luck. So I'm hoping for the best. Please do drop a like because I'd really appreciate it. I tell you, it's been a while since I've sat and done a crate opening. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's been a couple of weeks where I can just sit, do a crate opening, chat some waffle. And uh, speaking of waffles, had waffles last night. Very good. Um, but that being a prime example, chat some waffle and, and just uh, just chill with you guys. Because a lot of my videos lately have been, you know, highly edited, very much about the content concept of the video i'll take a lime dingo not too bad whereas these videos it's it's almost like breaking the fourth wall oh my gosh come on we've we've broken that we've broken the fourth wall i was gonna say we've burned it down but dissolver is not actually a fiery decal as fiery as it looks i mean we've dissolved it that's crazy that's what I'm talking about. You see, we get so distracted. You know, the gameplay, it's all about the gameplay. The trade-ups, is happening a million miles an hour. The crate openings, we can just relax. Something doesn't happen all the time. You don't get a black market every turn. But here we have today. We are nine crates in when I predicted we get three black markets in 200 crates, which is better than you'd expect. And we've already got one of the best of the bunch, a Dissolver. So if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. Also, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, tell me, tell me I wasn't the only one <laughs> who thought I got white zombies. Oh my gosh, I don't even think that's possible. I was, obviously you see exotic, you start staring at the wheel and I saw a white zombie come up. You, you there's no way I'm the only one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's unreal. We got an exotic. That's good. Can't trade it up, so it's kind of worthless, actually. It's a human haze that we have to keep, but those white zombies. Look at the mantis. Absolutely massive wheels. But yeah, uh, so as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted by the humid haze, I've been thinking properly over the last couple of days, perhaps over the Christmas period, going into the new year, about starting to stream on YouTube as well, because crate openings always get me thinking of that. Because you remember, I don't know if you were here for the time when we hit 600,000 subscribers on Boxing Day. Purple Strike, that was sick. And for that, I opened 600 crates i think it's golden gifts live on youtube and it was just a phenomenal epic day and i thought that'd be a great thing to do maybe around christmas christmas eve 27th 28th christmas day and boxing day i'm not free but if, it'd be really cool i think to start my youtube live streaming with a bang and, and obviously streaming on youtube is going to help with the subscriber go growth because fun fact you'd be a diehard fan to know this before i tell you but the most subscribers i've ever gained in one day was seven thousand, and that wasn't during the free to play bump or anything like that it was actually in 2017 july 2017 when a new crate came out and i did a live stream on it i can't remember if it was the nitro crate or the one after that it might have been the overdrive crate Oh, I'll take grey reverbs. That looks sick with the New Zealand decal. Uh, and I, we went up 7,000 subscribers in one day. And obviously, if I could emulate that today, 7,000 subscribers in a day, I'd only have to do that for 10 days. And bang, we're at a million subscribers. So obviously, I'm not expecting that kind of growth with Rocket League streams. But definitely tying live streams in with YouTube videos, with YouTube shorts, another thing that I've been slacking on lately, is uh, definitely something I'm looking forward to doing. Because a million subscribers... It's the goal. It's, it's my goal, but it's your goal as well as viewers of this channel to be there from beforehand 
to say you've made it to a million. I get so many comments saying, you'll get to a million soon. I've been supporting since 100k, 200k. Can't wait to say I've been there since then when you reach a million. And I love that sort of togetherness that we have when it comes to reaching this common goal as the community that we are. So it's... Oh my gosh, stop it! The white zombies need to stop! Oh my goodness gracious me. That one's a boost, so we can carry on talking. But honestly, I've just... I've been absolutely loving uh the videos we've been making lately but the fact that i've been doing the the gameplay videos like if you see a gameplay video on my channel rest assured you know it's going to be a sick one it's going to be highly edited it's going to be funny not a lot of my old gameplay videos were outwardly funny but my ones today are so because i've been putting a lot more effort into my you know youtube videos and editing them i've had less time for youtube shorts less time for streaming and I prefer that because I think as a viewer of my YouTube videos, it provides for a better and more engaging experience for you guys. But in terms of growth for new viewers, I suppose it's not as fine-tuned to attracting uh, new people as like spamming the YouTube shorts is. But you know, we're working on it and I love the videos that I'm making. You know, every video I watch, I watch back and I laugh and I enjoy. And there's something about my own videos that makes me smile. And if I'm at the stage where I can enjoy my videos despite having recorded them and edited them and knowing how it's going to go, then I'm sure that I can bring that sort of value to at least a couple of you. And the fact that you're here watching this right now still, even though I've been waffling on for like six minutes already, uh, means a lot to me. So thank you for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. And if you, if you are watching, I know a lot of people that watch my videos regularly tend to get out of the habit of dropping a like. So if you could drop a like down below, I'd really appreciate that. Let's shoot, let's shoot for 2,000 likes on this video. I didn't say that at the start of the video, so it's probably not going to happen, but it's worth it. So uh, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to open this crate, and then prematurely, I'm going to do best items only. Because I've had my little YouTube chat. It was a lot of fun. Now for these 165 crates, bearing in mind we have three painted exotics to try and get, and uh, two black markets to get, to get my very ambitious prediction. You'll see them in hopefully these highlights that I've got for you now. So, thank you for watching, and enjoy. Come on! Oh, yes! We've done it! Yes! We've got two already. Dissolver and Dueling Dragons. Not the double D. The triple D! Come on! <laughs> that is absolutely insane. 62 crates in. We've had three exotics. Twice I've been baited thinking I've got white zombies. One of them has been a painted reverb. And two black markets. And we are still so early on in this crate opening. We have so many rare items to get. We're going to get probably at least two black markets from the trade-ups. Surely now we get a third black market from the final 137. We could be on for a black market record. I think my record in 200 and the record in general is like six because I think I got six in 150 plus cray opening and that's the most I've ever got. But six is a long way away. Like we're not going to get six, but three is what we're asking for. Bro, how mad is that? I literally just lost my dueling dragons from the golden pumpkin 22 series in blind trading like at the time of recording like half an hour ago and then i go and get it back immediately after that's sick Ooh, that's kind of cool there's been a lot of items like that like cool painted very rares are imports some titanium white decals that just are kind of cool but don't really make it in you know what i mean oh my gosh it's happened oh it's not painted it's the first of the three that we got that could be painted. We've only gone and got three in 95, which means we are on track for a record. But we've got three. I, th I was genuinely being ambitious. Genuinely. Normally, I'd go for one or two in 200 crates. We've had three in 95. That's a massive dub. Come on. This is it. Not a human haze. Yes, it's a reverb and it's not painted. Rip. Maybe the painted exotics are going to let us down. But to be fair, we could get them in the trade-ups. So I I'm happy... Literally, if we get nothing from here to the end of the video, I'm happy regardless because we've had three black markets and two of them were absolute dubs. Oh! Oh, yes! We've done it again! And it looks so good. We've got four and that is another dub. That's another dub. Four black markets in 111 crates. We're going for that black market record. Uh, is it five or six? Uh, maybe I'll say, I think maybe five, maybe six. I'm tripping. I know it was five for a 150 crate opening, but I, I can't remember if I got six in 200 or not. I might have done. I don't know. I wish I knew. If I get five, I'm calling it a record. I don't care. Because even if it's not, it's cool enough to be considered one. So I don't want to hear it. Just watch us get four. <laughs> I'll probably just put it in the title regardless. So then you can see the madness that has ensued in this video. I think that's the best way to do it because even if it's not technically the record, you can't be too disappointed when you go to the video and it's still insane. It's like with Road to Shore. 
he used to essentially lie in every single one of his titles, but then when you'd watch his video because of the title, it'd be a good video, and you can't really be mad at that. If I got no black markets and I just baited you in, that would be kind of peak from me, peak from the pick. But if we get in as many black markets as we are now and I put in the title, you're going to be not disappointed. And I can just include the ones I got in the trade-up. So yeah, we'll go with record in the title. You've already read it, so yeah. Oh my gosh, we've, yes, we've done it. A fifth black market and finally some paint. I'm calling it a record. There's still more to come. We've got 69 more crates left. And at the rate we're going, there's at least another one, maybe two in here. And if we get six, it's it's out and out the guaranteed record. I just can't remember, but we've got five. One of them's painted. One of them is Shul and Dragons. One of them's Dissolver. We're getting more black markets than Exotics. This is absolutely unreal. Keep it coming, game. Yes! Oh my gosh, we've done it! Six black markets, and it's a striker encryption from the Arriga series in the Golden Pumpkin series. That's it! That's the record! It's at the very least a joint record, and that's what Guinness does. If you equal the world record, you get the world record title as well. So we've done it, and it was me who did it last time. So I've done it! Six black markets in 153 crates. We could get seven and get an out and out. We had an encryption striker certified. That's sick. Painted black markets, dueling dragons, dissolver. We've got everything! If you haven't liked already, I don't know what else to tell you. Genuinely, I was I was drinking some water. That's gonna be a boost, so I can drink. And bang. Surprise. Woo! This is good. I still can't believe we've had more black markets than exotics. That's very, very unlikely. It's four times more likely to get an exotic than it is to get a black market. I just, I can't believe it. I reckon the luck's run out, you know. I think I'll see through these 26 crates. We'll get nothing. And then I'll see you when I get to the imports of the trade-up so you can see what exotics and black markets we get. Which, I mean, that's still a massive dub, regardless. Comet? getting boring now. <laughs> Fractal fire. Oh, he's two for two. <laughs> is this the last crate? I think it is. Very rare. Okay, right. That is it. Let's get these trade-ups done. All right, so we're done without the Ariga items that make up a lot of the items from the Golden Pumpkin 22 to be traded up. It feels like I got through these trade-ups really, really quickly, considering it was a massive opening. We don't want our Riga exotics. We want those. That's good because then we can actually get a black market trade up at the end. That's good as well. I think we will be good to go if we trade up all of these. Bang. Reverb sky blue. Okay, so I think that is enough. Mm, yeah, we can trade those up. There's nothing that great in there, is there? Really? Toon sketch? No, we're good. We're good. We can go with that. Human Haze. Well, that was a waste. That was a little bit of an L, but we can do a black market trade-up. So that's the main thing. Golden Pumpkin. Golden Pumpkin. Yeah, they're all Golden Pumpkin. So that's good. So we can keep the Grey Reverb because that's the one we got at the start. Eight black markets in one video. The final one will be... Yes! Yes! A Heat Wave. I didn't even know Heat Wave was in that. I just need to check. I didn't like put in an old series there or something because I really didn't think Heat Wave was a part of that. Most recent. If we go to here... What? I swear they were a uh, what? I swear they were I swear they were all golden pumpkin 22s in there. But I mean regardless, hey, we got a heat wave. I, I, that's sick. We, that's a, that's a dub. That's a dub. Heat wave dissolve with dueling dragons. That's unreal for a crate opening. So in a weird turn of events, uh that is that. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like, subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. Ivan Pixel, you have been awesome and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Eight exotics there from the new series that we can't trade up. So annoying.